Have you ever had a time when you just felt empty, lifeless, numb? Are you like so many people right now who feel a key relationship has just lost its way? Has your love with them grown cold? The reality is we live in a time of real crisis, distance from others and a sense of disappointment that's impacting our hearts. It's impacting how we live and deeper than that, it's impacting how we love. On the contrary, when was the first time you experienced a first love? Maybe it was the first time meeting the person you would one day marry. Maybe it was the first time finishing a hike with friends on the perfect Seattle summer afternoon. Maybe it was the first time you held your child or your nephew or niece while looking deep into his or her eyes. See, there's a lot of motivating power in these first love experiences. What if I told you that first love motivations were actually never meant to go away, that they are designed to create a launching power, the kind that propels a rocket from Earth into space, driven by the motivating power of that first blast that would take it such a long way? It has surely been a difficult last few years, so let me ask you, how is your heart? See, when we lose our heart, we lose our life. Do you long to be full in your relationships with your spouse, your children, your family, your neighbors? Do you long to become wholehearted? How do we do that? I'll tell you how. We must go back to our first love. In the last book of the Bible, the writer of the book talks to a church in Ephesus. The writer John says on behalf of God, listen, you've done all the right things. You followed the rules. You've worked hard. You've endured. You've not grown weary. It's all good stuff. But then it says, you've lost your way. How? You've forgotten your first love. Jesus had called his followers to more than a creed, more than a set of behaviors, more than a rule book. Jesus' primary mission was the original first love, the way of the heart. One time a religious leader asked Jesus, what's the most important thing to do in this world? Jesus' response, first, love God and love others. See, that's the first love principle. And if you're like so many of us right now who feel like you've lost your way, I have an incredible promise for you. When you rediscover your first love, the one that has loved you long before you ever knew, you'll have a power source to infuse new life into your work, into your relationships, into this city. Remember, First John tells us, we love because he first loved us. God loves you so much. My heart for you, Rediscover your first love. Come and rediscover your first love together. I'm Pastor Scott Sun from Bethany Community Church. You are invited. Come experience the church again.